look at that. It is literally hell biome on earth. This, this was a bad idea, guys. Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here, and welcome back to the Minecraft mod review. Look at this freaking thing, you see this? Look at this magical, magical little crafting table we got here. Welcome to the Summoning Table mod by Josh J5 Hawk, which is a brand new mod that just came out recently for Minecraft 1.7.10. And what it does is it adds an awesome summoning table that allows you to create magical summoning books to summon all of the regular mobs you normally know and love in your Minecraft world. There's no need for spawn eggs. You can all do it with this mod in game now, totally legit. And you can summon any mob from the game, whether it is a friendly little cow of the passive mob group. It might be a villager in case you feel like getting ripped off, right? You ripped me off, right? Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or you could even be so daring as to summon the mighty ghast. Um, which, of course, needs to me making sure that your difficulty's on. The mighty ghast, as I said. You can summon all the different mobs using all these different summoning tables So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is covering how to make all the different items that this mod adds as well as how to summon all these different creatures So I hope you guys enjoy the mod review if you do and if you want to see more mod reviews on my channel Then the best way to show is of course by leaving a like on the video Let's even get at least 400 likes for this minecraft mod review But without further ado we can go ahead and jump into things So the first thing you're gonna need obviously is the summoning table now the recipe for the summoning table is as follows you're going to need three red carpets, two pieces of wood in these corners, doesn't matter what type of wood you use, but the carpet does have to be red, and then four new items. The neutral crafting orb, the passive crafting orb, and of course the hostile crafting orb. Now here is how you make each of those to make the neutral one. You're going to need a few different things, mostly from neutral mobs. You're going to need yourself a diamond right in the middle, a horse lead, which of course you can make by just adding a slime ball with some strings. Uh, let's go. <laughs> they, ah, that's the wrong one! Losing track. We're neutral, right. So, diamond, horse lead, a gold ingot, an ender pearl, a block of iron, and then four glass. Please don't mind the texture pack. It's just regular old glass, and that will get you your neutral crafting orb. To get yourself the passive crafting orb, you're going to need four more pieces of glass, and then various passive objects. Raw pork chop, raw chicken, raw beef, and of course, a mushroom. It can be either a brown or a red mushroom. And of course, then you're also going to need to make yourself a hostile crafting orb, which is, as you guessed, use hostile mob drops. Once again, four pieces of glass, a rotten flesh, a bone, spider eye, gunpowder, and a shiny diamond right in the middle. And then finally, you're going to need yourself a summoning court. Now, don't be alarmed. This is an expensive object to make, but one would argue it's worth it because you can summon any mob once you've made it. So. Once you acquire yourselves four diamonds, four iron ingots, and a full block of diamond for a total of 13 diamonds to make the summoning core, you can combine them all together to get yourself your summoning table. Now the summoning table itself is really sweet. It's got this cool little effect that goes around it, kind of 3D. And uh, if, you, if you're wondering, there are high res and low res textures added in this mod, mod. <laughs> if you want to use the low res textures because you don't have a texture pack or something, you can go ahead and configure that in the mod settings, which we're not going to be covering because everybody wants higher texture pack resolution. Come on now, guys. Get with the times. It's 2014 here. Almost 2015, actually. Anyways, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. These are the various items you're going to need in addition to the table to summon all of the different mobs. Now, the summoning table itself runs on books as fuel. Knowledge is power, kids, I'm telling you. Now, you can either use books or bookshelves. A book will provide yourself with one summoning fuel, and you need to continuously add fuel to make the new summoning books. If you add a bookshelf, though, it counts as four. So we've got the one plus four equals five summons. So we're just going to store all the bookshelves in here, and once it fills up to the max amount of summons, uh, it looks like it... You need to have an exact amount for it to summon all the way. You can store a maximum of 20 summons in the summoning table fuel before you have to just use up some of your summons. Now from here, here's where it continues to get expensive. Not only are you going to need all of these different things depending on what mob you want to spawn, but you're also going to need many summoning cores. Now keep in mind, this is the one that is extremely expensive. But when you think about what the mod does, I would say the cost is worth it. So in order to start summoning mobs, 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of the... I've separated all the different mobs into their own little categories. We've got the original four from the alpha days over here. Good stuff. So we're going to summon these just like that. You can use any wool to summon the sheep, by the way. I thought I would clarify that. But anyways, you put a summoning core right here. You put the choice secondary ingredient right here. And you'll notice it uses up one of the summons. 19 summons remaining. And then this bar will slowly fill up. And once it is completely filled up right down here, you're going to get yourself your own special summoning book. Now, it's expensive, but look. Look at this, okay? Let me just share something with you. You see this? Let's go ahead and go into survival mode. The book comes with 64 spawns. So one summoning core, 13 diamonds, will get you 64 spawns of whatever mob you want. You see we used one and the uses went down. Let's we'll just spam click this, huh? <laughs> so you can tell it's got a bunch of uses in it. So you're, you're gonna not need to make the books too often. And obviously you're not gonna probably use the summoning table to get things like cows. Really useful for creating farms so you don't have to worry about getting the cows you know, into the pen or something. You can just summon them wherever you need them. Now the process is by and large the same for all the different mobs. Again, with a wool, you can use any type of wool. I really like the little graphic that displays up here. It shows all the different mobs you can do. We'll let this one run through, but for the most part, you're gonna kinda get the basic idea of how it all works. So you got our summoning sheep. Now, I'm pretty sure this book always spawns, yeah, it always spawns white sheep. Though I actually haven't tested, you can use different wool. I'm curious to see what happens if we use ourselves a lime wool. Um, okay, well maybe it doesn't work for every single one. Uh, on the post I read, it, uh, the mod maker said that any wool will work, but I guess for the time being, just use yourself some white wool. I'm pretty sure that the uh, mod said, the mod maker said it's being updated, so eventually it will work in your favor for all the different wool types. But uh, needless to say, once again, you just it shows the mob you're about to make right there. It's it's really a beautiful thing. But we'll go ahead and go over to these other categories. The steak is going to be used to summon yourself a wolf right there. The fish is for ocelots. And of course the saddle, you could have guessed that was for horses. This is the tameable mobs category. You can tame all these mobs to get your own pets that will follow you around. Well the horse won't really follow you around, but you can force them to with the lead. Over here we've got a couple miscellaneous mobs. The ink sack is used to summon. Can you guess it? I couldn't. A bat. Probably because like fruit bat, you know, fruit, apple, right? Ink sack is for the squid. Now there was a bug that I might try and show off here. Uh, it may have been fixed since I've done it, but apparently you can use any ink. Yeah, it looks like it was fixed. Originally you could use any of the dyes to get a squid, so no longer the case. Now for the mushrooms, you use those, either a brown mushroom or a red mushroom in order to summon the mushroom. This, this one's pretty overpowered because once you summon a single mushroom, you basically have infinite mushroom stew watch. We'll bust this sucker out, watch. Look at this. Once you got that, you've got infinite mushroom stews right here at your disposal. I uh, will go ahead and clear our inventory if you please here. Clear. Perfect. Now we've covered all the passive mobs. Down here we've got a neutral mob, the emerald. will summon yourself as you would have guessed, the villager. Now I'm not sure if it summons different villagers every single time or not. We'll go ahead and test that right now. Grab a couple more emeralds for our summoning pleasure. I feel like such a wizard. Now, it looks like it's going to be summoning the plain old villager every time, uh, which I believe is the farmer. I'm pretty sure this villager is the farmer. Let's just get a bunch of friends around here, huh? That's probably too... Uh-oh. We might have to slaughter those in a second if they get too annoying. So, emeralds will summon yourself the villager. Now, we've got all the hostile mobs. Well, you know, most of them are hostile. Some of them won't attack you if you don't attack them first. So, we've got our own categories. We have the original four baddies over here. The bone will summon yourself a skeleton. We've got gunpowder for the creeper. Rotten flesh will give you your zombie. And string, of course, will give you the spiders. Now, we have ender pearl. Fermented spider eye. Let's just grab the rest of them, huh? So we don't have to keep going in the chest here. Ender Pearl will get you your Enderman. We have a Blaze Rod will grab you your Blaze. Good for summoning mobs in the overworld that you couldn't normally get there unless you like push them through a portal. Gold Nuggets will get you your Zombie Pigmen. We have over here the Magma Creep. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like it's cycling through all the different sizes of the Magma Cubes. So that's a little bit of a graphical glitch. Uh, we'll just let that one go through. Uh, fermented spider eye will get you a cave spider, which is different from the regular spider. Now, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna mess up too. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it's it's going crazy, man. I can't decide what it wants to be. 
Oh boy. Oh baby. Now we also, which I, look, now I got all unorganized because I grabbed them all at once. Uh, now silverfish requires a cracked stone brick. Now I'm pretty sure you can't make cracked stone bricks in 1.7. You can make them in 1.8, but if you want to summon silverfish, you got to go find yourself cracked stone bricks, which can only be located in the um, strongholds found throughout the world. Now, for whatever reason, that's not working either. Let me let me grab a couple of these. We got stone bricks. The oh, maybe maybe I grabbed a monster egg or something. Let's just let's just grab all these. One of them's bound to work. Yeah, okay, so stone bricks. Apparently it's supposed to be cracked stone bricks according to the mod maker. So plain old stone bricks you can use to make silverfish, which is actually better because you can make stone bricks by combining stone with each other, just like that. So now you don't have a limited amount of silverfish you can spawn. We, um, which, oh my gosh, I've lost track. Uh, I think two more mobs. The nether war is used to summon the witch. And I believe, lastly, we have the gas tier. And this one's a doozy. Look what happens to the poor. Look at that. <laughs> nice glitch. You can't even see the other items. But we'll go ahead and let it summon here in just a second. Will you sum Won't you summon? Come on now. Yeah, there we go. And the summoning book can be used to summon gas. Now, I'm kind of apprehensive about letting this guy run loose on my world. I'm pretty sure he'll blow everything up if I do. We'll, uh, we'll summon him over here and see the damage he can cause. But yes, you can summon all the different mobs. It doesn't matter what dimension you're in. You can summon them in the nether. In the oh, gosh! You can summon them in the nether. You can summon them in the overworld. Ooh, maybe they'll fight each other, huh? Oh, they're killing each other! Oh, my gosh. Good stuff. And, of course, you can summon them in the nether, the overworld, and the nether. Look at that! It is literally hell biome on earth. This this was a bad idea, guys. You know what? We're going to go ahead and have to difficulty zero. Goodbye! <laughs> You're not going to cause me any more problems. I did not want him to set my mod showcase area on fire. I don't have any more backups of this world. <laughs> but either way, guys, that is going to be the summoning table mod. It is a... It's got a couple problems wrong with it, but the mod maker, Josh, has said that he plans on continuously updating it. Um, beyond, in terms of other mobs, maybe he'll have cross compatibility with other mods that add new mobs. That would be really sweet if you could use this for other mobs that different mods add. But for now, for the time being, it is only with your regular old mobs that you can find in Minecraft. But either way, that was the mod review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and if you want to see more mod reviews on my channel, then like I said, the best way to show it is by leaving a like on the video. Let's see if we get at least 400 likes for this mod review. Uh, either way, though, we will have to catch you later. Thanks again, and see ya. Shut up.